We're going to talk about Boeing today. To recap, they were slow to respond to competitors and customers. Product development was done on the cheap. There were major high profile product issues. There was lying and denial. It was a toxic work environment and employees are ticked off. The stock price is collapsing. They moved corporate headquarters rather than fix the product. They brought in an outsider to fix the culture. All of these things have happened before. If you look at this book and this video, you'll see an example. I'll leave a link. Boeing was historically dominant in commercial aircraft. They're a major defense contractor and producer of high-tech aircraft. Their major competition is Airbus. They have better fuel efficiency and longer range. Boeing lost a huge order from American Airlines and was forced to decide, start from scratch and build a competitor or retrofit an existing platform and do it on the cheap. They had the 737 MAX disasters. Plane aerodynamics were different because of the new motors. Changes in software were put in to compensate, but they didn't tell the customers. So this happened. Planes started to crash. The entire fleet was grounded for over a year. There was lawyer Mageddon in excess of $60 billion. There's ongoing labor issues from the 2021 to 22 time frame. Employees were ticked off, quality issues were discovered, and everybody knew about it, but it was allowed to happen. There's a culture of mistrust. Co-workers and management were sabotaging each other. 7,000 employees were laid off at the end of 2021. There's been the Alaskan air disaster. An outsourced part blew out and nearly killed everyone on board. Similar models of 737 MAX were grounded. To recap, design shortcuts were taken to do things on the cheap. The labor force and employees are ticked off. There's lack of market confidence in the major product line. Lawsuits are continuing to fly. People didn't do their jobs. They have even bigger problems. Boeing as a business is in jeopardy according to the 2023 annual report. Shareholder wealth is negative. They're burning cash. They're allowing accounts payable to increase. That's essentially borrowing $2 billion from the suppliers. They have $78 billion in inventory that they can't sell. The stock price is down 40%. There's some question as to what keeps it from going to zero. Prediction, this company will need a bailout. Management is already rattling the tin cup. This is going to have to happen in an election year. They will surely get it because that's what happens. This company is too important to the defense industry. Here's a thought question. Who in all of this got fired? It's the management's job to maximize the wealth of the shareholders and not run the company into the ground. Here's the former CEO who was fired in 2019. He received $62 million in pension and buyouts despite failure. 30,000 workers were laid off in 2020. 7,000 were laid off in 2021. 2,000 were laid off when they moved corporate headquarters. They decided rather than improve operation to move headquarters to just outside Washington to better access the Pentagon. It's not known how much bailout money regular employees got. We talked about many of these issues in why people don't do their jobs. Human factors, employees are ticked off, there's a toxic workplace, there's sabotage and chaos. Procedures, Production systems were bypassed. Product validation was inadequate. Control systems. Quality system was short-circuited. Management ignored alarm signals. 
and resources, they made the decision to compete on the cheap. There have been some management failures, stonewalling and lying, active inertia, spending money to stay the same, denial and resistance. We talked a lot about entrenched mediocrity and obvious beneficial changes resisted, especially for non-technical reasons. The organization accepts mediocrity to avoid the cost of change. A widely known problem is allowed to continue despite obvious risk and overhead activities become more important than production. Looks like we're four for four. There's some other possible outcomes. Remember where you heard this first. This could be merged into some other defense contractor. Could be bought out by some angel investor. It could be split up and spin off the defense portion. Some combination of all this could happen. All of this has been done before and people still don't do their jobs.